up in my soul, amen to God. Amen. We were guilty, amen to God. But by the grace and mercy of God, hallelujah to God, we've been set free. Oh, glory to God. Mm -mm, glory. Isn't amen. that good, amen? Isn't that mm -mm, good, amen? Something amen. to feast on, amen. How many is excited? You got the joy of your salvation tonight, amen? amen. How many is still excited you're saved? Yes. Or are you just content with where you're at? Come on. Are you just complacent with the place you're at? Do you not want to go further in God? Amen to God. Do you not want to grow in God? Amen. Amen. Well, Brother Mike, I don't want to go through nothing. Well, that's why you ain't growing. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, amen to God, Jesus said. Hallelujah. What? <clears throat> Jesus went through things. Come on. Don't you think you're going to go through things? Come on. Well, Brother Mike, that ain't, the, that ain't the kind of gospel I signed up for, amen to God. Well, praise God, yeah. you better repent and get saved, amen to God. Because this ain't a cakewalk. You got an adversary who is the devil who's Come after on. you, amen. Amen. Praise God, the devil ain't out, amen to God, to play favorites. Yeah. He wants to kill, steal, yeah. and destroy, amen. Amen. That's why the church is in the shape it's in today. Come on. Because Satan is having more rule than Jesus. Come on. Come on now. Yeah. Go with me in your Bibles to the book of James, chapter 1. I won't hold you long tonight, but the word I'm going to give you, amen to God, I pray. I pray, amen to God. You can take it and run with it, amen to God. Be excited oh. about it, amen. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, over the last several months, the Lord has just been showing me things, amen to God, about growing. Oh. About, amen to God, just be, if we want to be more like Him, we got to go through some things, amen to God. Yeah. It just don't happen, praise God, like this, and amen to God, you're fine. Amen. In the natural, when a baby's born, he has to go through some things, or she has to go through some things, some growing spells, amen to God. You know, they say kids, amen to God, when they hit a, a certain level at the age of, I think they call it terrible twos, amen. Come on. I know hunters hit that stage, but you know, I, I was telling the Lord the other night, I said, I don't like to speak that over him. Yeah. Amen to God, because you know, why do we speak a stage over a kid? Why not speak the Word of God over them? Amen to Come God. On. It's almost like we're expecting when they turn to that they're going to be like a devil from hell. Amen? And I tell you, Come praise on. God, you people think this is crazy because I told his doctor this. He said, well, he's going to hit that stage. I said, well, I have to rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Come on. And he said, excuse me? I said, no, amen to God. I said, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus because I don't want you speaking that garbage over him. I Come said, on. praise God. He's got a destiny in God. He's going to grow up in the Lord, amen to God, around his word, praise God. So don't speak that garbage over him, amen to God. Come he's on. not going to hit the terrible twos because I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, amen. Come on. He didn't like that, praise God. I think that's why the bill was high. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Lori got tickled. She said, sometimes you need to... I said, no, sometimes I need to speak more, amen, to God. Come on. I won't get on that, amen, to God. That'll get me in trouble. <laughs> <coughs> hallelujah. But it's the truth, though. You know, our children today, you know, hallelujah, these doctors saying... Our kids got, these kids nowadays got ADD. Yeah. They can't be still. You know what the problem is? Speak the word over them, amen to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't dope them up on medication. Come on. No wonder these kids act like they walk around here like, yeah. Praise God. They don't know what's going on because they, they, they're high on dope. Come they on. They Prozac and Riddle and stuff. No wonder it messes their minds up. And they don't even know how they are, amen. Come on. They don't even know who they are most of the time. Oh, man. Glory to God. That's going to get some probably emails, praise God, but it's the truth. Hallelujah. James chapter 1, beginning in verse 1 down through verse 4 in Jesus' name. <coughs> reading from a King James Bible. Amen. 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 Somebody shout if you've got a King James. Amen. Hallelujah. I like what Brother Billy said, amen to God, on that message, the first part of it. He said, all that confusion with those other versions. Hallelujah. It's been going on since, hallelujah, day one. Yeah. The devil's tried to corrupt the truth and change it around, amen, to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why we've got to stay with the original, amen. Amen. So we don't get led astray by the enemy, praise God. Yeah. James, the servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. 
Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Greeting. Greeting. My brethren, count it all joy. Uh oh. You want me to stop here? <coughs> or should I read on? My brethren, count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptations. Ooh. Come on. Did you hear what James said? Count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptations. Yes. Yeah. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh what? Patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. You got to be careful what you pray for sometimes. Come on. Because I know a lot of times we spout out things, half the time we don't really mean what we say, we're just doing it off the top of our head. Come on. We say, Lord, make me patient. Yeah. But you don't realize God hears those prayers. Come on. And He's going to use things. What did it say? Yeah. It said that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Yeah. Amen. But He said in the verse before, count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptations. Amen. In other words, you should rejoice when things are going bad. Come on. <clears throat> Brother Mike, you've done lost your mind. Yeah. I'm glad I did. Because I got his mind on. Amen? Amen. See, praise God, we look at society today, and you can look at the last couple of debates that we've seen the presidents running in. Come on. And you can see how things are just like a windshield wiper going back and forth, back and forth. There's no stability. And not and through any of it, you didn't hear nothing about the Word of God or Jesus. Amen. Come on. It's all about taxes and foreign policy and government aid and this and that. And I'll tell you what you want to hear, praise God, so you vote me in so I can stab you in the back once I'm in the office. Come on. Amen. See, praise God, we as believers are really in a blessed time. Well, gas is high, Brother Mike. Well, thank you, Jesus. Come on. Why do you thank God for gas being high? Well, it says, count it all joy. Come on. When you fall in diverse temptation, knowing oh, this is the trying of your faith work with patience. Amen. How many has ever had problems in life? Amen. How many has ever had the attitude, my problems are worse than somebody else's? Amen. Come on now. We all have problems, and they're bad to us. Yeah. Come on. My problems may not be bad to you, just like your problems may not be bad to me, but to each one of us individually, they are putting us through something. Amen? Come on. Yeah. And if we're believers living right for the Lord, it's the trying of our faith. Come which on. work is patience. Amen. And we need patience today. We yeah. need to learn to wait on God. Be still and know that I am God. Amen. Psalm 4, 16 says. But how many of us today, and I'm being honest, I could learn to wait on God a little bit better than I do. Instead of God, do this, do this, do this, do this. We don't wait on God. No wonder we don't see things, praise God, see the results that should be happening, but we don't. We don't see the altar filled up because we won't get on our face and pray. Amen? Come on. We don't see this nation turn back to God because we ain't praying. The church ain't praying. Amen? Amen. The sinners out there don't know any different. They don't care. It don't matter to them whether, amen, to God, Obama gets it or, or Romney gets it. Amen? Come on. It don't matter, praise God, if China takes this country over. Come it don't on. matter, praise God, if this nation becomes, hallelujah, a Buddhist nation or if yeah. it becomes Muslim, serving Allah. It don't matter to the sinner, man, because they don't care. Come They're on. just in it for them, praise God. But to the believers, amen, how many believers we got here tonight? Amen. amen. It should matter to us, amen, yeah. God. We have a responsibility and a duty. Come on. <coughs> We have a responsibility and a duty Come on. to pray about these situations. Yeah. We have a responsibility to take authority over the devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have a responsibility to praise God. Psalm Amen. 150 verse 6, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Come on. <clears throat> but we complain and murmur about our problems. And after reading this four verses of Scripture right here, we need to count it a joy, amen? Come on. Be blessed when something's coming at you from the left and right because God is saying praise God to the devil. 
He's saying, my child, just like with Job, he Come won't on. curse me. He won't give up on me. Hallelujah to God. I'm glad that we got that example in Job. Sister Vinny, amen to God. To where the devil, he went before the Lord and said, I can make Job curse you. Yeah. Just take that hedge of protection off of him. Because see, I can't do nothing to him if you're protecting him. Come on. You can do anything to Job but kill him. God's saying, praise God, promotion time's coming, amen to God. Come on. But you're going to have to go through something. You're going to have to go through some valleys before you get to the mountaintop, amen. Come on. You can't get on the mountain until you start at the bottom and go up, amen. Come on. amen. I can't climb to the top of the ladder if I don't start out at the first step, amen. amen. Come on now. I can't get to age 50 if I don't start at one, amen. Come on. Oh, don't shout me down, amen to God. What I'm simply saying is, praise God, you got to go through something to get somewhere, amen to God. Well, Lord, make me into your image, amen to God. Well, put me on the potter's wheel, yeah. praise God. When He puts you on the potter's wheel, He's going to start molding, amen Hello. to God. Amen. There's going to be some areas that, praise yeah. God, are kind of cracked up, but He's got to mold you. You're going to spin Hello. around and move a little bit. Things are going to get shaken up in your life, amen to God. It ain't going to go the whole perfect Christian way. Hello. It's going to get... Hey, Amen to God. You're going to go through hell and high water. But at the end of it, amen to God, He's going to make a vessel, praise God, without spot or without blemish in, that He can pour Himself oh, into, amen to God, hallelujah. that you can pour out on others, amen to God, and be used by the glory of God. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Come on. That's what I'm talking about tonight. Yes. I want to use for a subject what <clears throat> James said here in verse 2. Count it all joy. Amen? Come on. How many can say honestly tonight, thank you, Jesus, for what I'm going through? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's bad right now, but thank you, Lord. Amen. Come on. When the disciples were out there and that storm was hitting and Jesus was asleep on the boat. Hallelujah. They said, we're going to die. Somebody wake the Master up. See, I'm glad somebody had sense enough to call on Jesus. Amen? Come on. But see, praise God, what Jesus wanted them to know was, praise God, they just had faith in Him. Praise God. That storm would have ceased. They would have got through it. Amen to God. Oh. You know, I believe, Brother Billy, and they don't say this, but I'm just talking on it. Amen to God. I believe if they had faith in what He said, yeah. they wouldn't have had to woke Him up. Amen. 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 I, believe I believe, praise God, if they would have just trusted in what the Lord told oh. them, that they were going to the other side of the lake, amen to God, just fine. I believe He would have slept on through. I believe He wouldn't have had to been woke up. Come on. But they did wake Him up, so I thank God they called upon the Lord, amen to God. Yeah. But He told them when He said, Peace, be still. Aren't you glad He speaks peace to your situation, amen, amen to God? Come on. But He said, O oh, ye of little faith. Come on. And that's where we are tonight. When we're going through something, when we pray for God to make us patient. And then we go through something, we get mad at God and complain and murmur. Come on. My goodness, I don't understand that. We need to count it all joy. Amen. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you now. Thank you, Lord, for the word. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. This is one of those words, Lord God, that's cutting going in and cutting coming out. Amen. But thank you for the word, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that, hallelujah to God, that the trying of our faith worketh patience, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord, where we've asked you, Lord, to make us patient, and we've complained and murmured about the things we were going through, and all you were trying to do was make us like you. Forgive us, Lord, where we failed you. Let this word not return void tonight, but let it, let it go forth and minister to those who need this word, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. And everybody says. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to run through some things right here. Hallelujah to God. I kind of made my own little list out and kind of asked some people for some things. And it's going to, and if some of these hit you, just say amen. Amen. Come on. What makes you lose your patience <coughs> the quickest and in what circumstances? Amen. Here's what I put down a few what I wrote abrasive people. Amen. Amen. You ever been around somebody who's rubbed you wrong? <laughs> like sandpaper on a baby's bottom, amen? Come yeah. on. Family members. Hallelujah. Oh, me. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Delays on the interstate. Come on. You ever been out there and just stuck in traffic, amen? 
I know I was in Nashville the other day, and it was backed up. I wasn't singing, bring it in the sheaves, amen to God. I was about oh. to get out and start laying hands on folk, but the Lord had to stop me from the mic. Well, I'm just being honest, amen. You've done it too, so don't act all super sanctimonious, amen. Crowds. Yeah. Walmart crowds. Amen. At Christmas time. Come on. On Friday night when you go to the store and there's only one cashier. Yeah. Come on. 500 people in line. Amen. <clears throat> then you get buses full of people pulling in. Amen to God. Come on. And they buy the whole store and you just got one item. Come on now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. Trying to get out of a parking lot after a ball game? How many have been caught by that? Amen. Frustrating. Lose your patience quickly. When you're sick and waiting in the emergency room, how many has ever been sick and they said, we'll be with you shortly, amen to God? I'm on. Or, or how about those who are having a heart attack? Well, we'll be with you here when the room opens up, amen. Don't die on us now. I'm on. We'll be with you shortly, amen. How many has ever been around that or heard that? I'm on. Car trouble, amen. Just different things, amen. You know, these things, these are just different things. Anybody got anything else different? Amen to God, or have I covered most of what everybody's is? I think the family members part said amen. Hallelujah right there. Come on. I can, I can rejoice on that a little bit. Hallelujah. Since I'm their favorite. Glory. Better edit that out. Amen. <laughs> just leave it in. But one thing's certain. Jesus said in John 16, 33, these things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Amen? Come on. I have overcome the world. That ought to get you excited right there. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Come on. Once we understand that problems do have a purpose, we can better handle the trouble that comes our way. Would you agree with that? Amen. Amen? Come on. So instead of getting mad, amen to God, at the problems going on, let's rejoice, praise God, on how they're going to mold us, how yeah. God is going to use these things Work to together. help us. Amen. Amen, brother. What was that again? Work together for our good. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans amen. 8, 28. All things all work things. together for the good to those all. who are called. Come amen all. to God, who love God and called according to His purpose. Amen. amen. All things work together. Problems, oh, amen to God. Oh, Heartaches, oh, amen to God. Sickness, amen hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. What I've been telling him up there with Brother Rad going through it. You know, God has given him a word that he will be better. But oh. he's he's you know going through the situation and it's hard. Yeah. He can't move his right side. I went through that and I know how rough it yeah. is when you can't move when, when you're told you'll be in a wheelchair the rest of your life. Oh. When you're told that they'll have to feed you through a tube. Yeah. I know the hell of that. Amen to God. I know how it feels when they tell you that and all you're doing is just laying there with those thoughts going through your mind. But I've got to tell you and I've got to testify to you. That's when you've got to get the Word of God, amen to God, to overpower them thoughts, amen to God, overshadow them and use it, praise God. It's rough, amen. Come on. But God uses these things, praise God, for His glory. Amen. See, through all this with Brother Rad going on, hallelujah to God, where he couldn't reach his niece before. His niece gave her life to Jesus a few weeks back. Amen. So praise God, amen, if it was all that for that, that was worth it. Come on. That stuff that I went through five years ago. <clears throat> my doctor was an atheist doctor. The day I was going home, gave her life to Jesus. Amen? Amen. So if all that I went through, praise God, it was worth it for one soul. Come on. Because I tell you, you were one soul at one time. That, amen to God, left the sheepfold, and God left the 99 righteous come and come after you. Amen yeah. to God. Aren't you glad He didn't give up on you? Come on. Aren't you glad He said, well, let Him go? Yeah. That's what He chose to do. Jesus, ever so patiently, I'm going to use you while you're walking. Follow us, save men to God. Didn't give up on us. Come on. Didn't cast us into the bottomless pits of hell. Come on. He said, I love you. Amen. See what I'm talking about? The kind of God we serve? Yes, God wants us to be like Him, amen to God, each and every day. 
But if you're going to be like Jesus, you got to go through something. Amen? Amen. There were times when Jesus was lonely, when He was fatigued, when He was tempted. How many remember Satan tempted Him for 40 days and 40 nights in the, in the desert? Amen? Amen. Remember when Jesus was frustrated? Discouraged? Remember in the Garden of Gethsemane? When He was in such agony over what He had to go through at the cross? It said His sweat was as great drops of blood. Come on. Have you ever been so agonized where you bled through your skin like that? Mm -hmm. They said medically speaking, that is true. That can't happen. You can get so agonized, so upset, <coughs> that you'll start bleeding through the pores of your skin. Come on. I've never had that. I don't think I want it. Amen? Amen. But just think about that though. Jesus went through all this. <coughs> He went through the suffering and shame for each and every one of us so you could sit here tonight. So I could be here tonight. So we could have, praise God if you will, our comfortable way of living, amen to God. Because I tell you, we're spoiled, amen to God. We're like the children of Israel and we murmur and complain quite a bit, amen to God. God brought them up out of Pharaoh, out of the bondage of Pharaoh, got them up out of Egypt, and they still murmured and complained. God brought him up to the Red Sea, praise God. He opened... I mean, you know, if God, hallelujah, if I sat there and seen this Red Sea open up, and I'm walking on dry ground, amen, and the ground ain't even muddy, and I'm going through this, and there's walls of water on each side of me, tell me, praise God, God ain't good. And that they come out into the sea, and then He closes it up on my enemies, amen to God. Come on. Praise God. They were going through some problems, but they got through it, amen to God. Amen. And I truly believe this, if they wasn't murmuring and complaining as much as they would, they wouldn't have wandered for 40 years in the wilderness, amen? Amen. See, a lot of the times, we complain and murmur, and we keep ourselves in our situations longer than God intended for us to be there, amen? Come on. So if you just take a minute and stop complaining and fussing and griping and cussing at God and just say, Lord, okay, I'm going through this. I'm going through this in the name of Jesus. No matter how long it takes, I'm going through. Amen. Hallelujah. You would find out you would get through your problems a lot quicker. Well, brother Mike, my kids aren't saved. Well, do you stand upon the Word of God? Do you take the promises of God and claim it over their lives? Amen. Do you pray, God, whatever it takes to get them, to get them on their knees, do whatever it takes, God? Do you pray that? Come on. We've got to get to the point, praise God, till we've got a candle to joy, amen, to God, when problems are coming our way. Amen? Amen. How does, how does the Lord make us like Him, <coughs> praise God? One, through the Word of God. John 17, 17, sanctify them through thy truth. For thy word is truth. Amen? How I many agrees with that? Amen? Amen. God's word is truth. Another thing, through the way life happens, James 1 2, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall in divers temptations. Amen? Come on. God uses life experience to help us. Amen? Amen. Peter said in 1 Peter 4 12, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fire of your trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Come on. They coming. Get ready. Yeah. Can't stop them, amen? <laughs> if you want to be at the place, praise God, where God wants you at, you've got to go through them, amen? Come on. You know, I, I think about some of the, the pioneers of faith that's gone on, Brother Billy, and I'll use somebody, Brother Wigglesworth. You know, people say, well, I wish I could have done some of the great things Brother Wigglesworth did. Well, do you know some of the problems he went through in order to see some of these miracles happen? Now, oh. see, Brother Wigglesworth is just a man. God is the one doing the miracles and all the things. It's not Smith Wigglesworth. It's not no preacher. It's God doing it. He Amen. chooses to use us as an instrument in His hand. Oh. No man or woman is the big deal. Yeah. It's all about Jesus, amen? Come on. And if it ain't about Jesus, praise God, I don't want no part of it. Amen. But you don't realize the sacrifice people go through. They have to go through things in order to see great moves of God. I said a couple times back when I was here, Dottie Rambo, I watched on a DVD of hers. She was talking about before she passed away some of the songs that God gave her. 
the Lord said these songs are going to bring many people to get saved, to get healed, to get delivered. But you're going to go through hell. You're going to be attacked mightily because of these. See, God won't give you something there not be opposition. Because I truly believe this, amen, to God. Brother Billy, some of those messages you've been preaching on the, on the thief and the blood, amen, to God. And I say that because I tell you, that's two of the best I've heard you do in a while. You do some great, but then for some reason, man, they're just grabbing out. Now to others, it may be different, but to me, man, they are just, they're powerful, amen, to God. And I know that he's going through things. When God gives him words like that, he's going through things. It's been happening to Sister Reese, but it will come back and affect him because the devil will use things to try to take us out. But when the devil's got a plan to take you out, God's got a plan in motion to keep you in. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Rejoice in these things. Count it a joy when you're going through it. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. Can you just praise God right now? Whoa, Knowing that whatever hallelujah, you're going hallelujah. through, God is going to get you through. Whoa, Amen to God. Name, hallelujah. Go. I started out with Jesus, but I'm going through. Amen to God. The devil told me a long time ago, you ain't going to make it. But I'm standing here today. Praise God. Amen. Alive and well in Jesus. Amen. And he's told you the same thing. He said this ministry won't make it. But ha ha, devil. VOTL is still going. Amen Hallelujah. to God. The radio is touching those around the world. Hallelujah. The devil's a liar. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Benny told you a long time ago, you never make it, but look at you sitting here tonight. Say it about Jesus. Amen. amen to God. Got a daughter who loves the Lord. Got Come a son-in-law who's a firecracker for Jesus. Amen to God. Hates the devil. Praise God. I know Brother Brad gives the devil some sleepless nights. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I told Brother Brad one time, I said, I know one thing, you loud, and that makes the devil nervous. Amen to God. Come on. Hallelujah. See, the devil don't like loud people, amen. He wants you to be reserved and quiet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Rejoice in these things. The Bible says rejoice evermore, amen. Amen. Well, what's there to rejoice about, Brother Mike? You're alive and well today, amen. Come on. You're not overseas in these countries. There you go, point that map again. You're not over there to where when you say the name Jesus, they cut your tongue out. Yeah. You're not over here to where they cut your arms and legs off if you hold a Bible or if you praise God to where they persecute you. You're not over in a country where they put you on a stake and burn you alive. Come on. But you're in a nation to where you got freedom of speech. Like Brother Billy said, that's coming very close to an end to where we're not going to have much more freedom anymore, much more liberty like we should. Amen. But they may bow me up physically, but spiritually I am free in Jesus. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus, hallelujah, gave me perfect liberty. Hallelujah. No matter what happens in my life, amen to God, God is still God no matter what. Amen. amen. Can you say that tonight too? Come on. Yeah. Romans 8, uh, chapter 8, verse 35 through 37 says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, shall distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. But I love verse 37. Hallelujah. Come on. Nay, in all these things we are more. We are more than conquerors. Oh, we are more hallelujah. than conquerors. Through Him, talking about Jesus. We are more than conquerors through Him that loved us. Amen. To, or loves us. Amen to God. Come on. We are more than conquerors. Amen to God. Amen. You are more than a conqueror tonight. You're going through hell and high water. Count it a joy. Amen Come to on. God. You are more than a conqueror. Amen to God. Get on your feet and praise Him. Amen to God. Amen. Get on your feet and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I'm going through oh, stuff right now. Amen. But count it a joy. Amen to God. Count it a joy. Oh, praise oh, God. Oh, Looks like I witnessed to somebody and they, they cussed me out. Tell me the joy that you can witness oh, to somebody. Hallelujah. Brother Mike, I've been sick and body. Oh, tell me the joy that you can go and share your oh, testimony oh, with the doctors. Oh, amen oh, to God. Oh, oh, tell me the joy. Amen to God. Thank you, Jesus. No sickness comes from God. No sin or disease comes from God. But God will allow these things to happen so you can praise Him. Count it a joy. Oh, amen to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are Amen. more than conquerors through the Lord. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah.
Problems are going to happen, amen to God. Life happens is what they say. You don't plan for a flat tire, it just happens. But do you get out and you cuss it out or do you get out and say, thank you Jesus, praise God, this is an opportunity that I can grow a little bit in you, amen? Amen. The car quit on me. Do you get out and start kicking it and hollering and yelling? Get mad, amen to God? Or do you get out and say, thank you, God, praise God. Here's something I can count it all joy in, amen? Oh, well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, praise God, Brother Mike, the washer quit on me, amen? I can't wash my clothes now. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. You may have to go to the laundry room, <clears throat> but God may open the door for you to share the gospel with somebody. Oh, count it of joy, amen to God. Amen. See how God uses these things, amen? I didn't ask the Lord to go be a salesman for a collection company, amen to God. But God opened the door, and now I can share the gospel with more people than I was before, amen. amen. Count it a joy, Brother Mike, amen. amen. Come on now. I know Sister Reese didn't ask for that, her leg and stuff to get hurt, amen to God. But through it all, like she said tonight, God is good. Count it a joy, amen. amen. Hallelujah. What was it on your birthday? You was in the, hot, in the emergency room with her yeah. most of the day. Brother Billy didn't want to count it a joy, but praise God, God used that, amen to God. Somebody got blessed, amen. he may not know, but one day, praise God, that somebody may come up to him and say, Brother Billy, you don't realize I was sitting in the emergency room when you were there with Sister Reese, when she was going to see the doctor about her leg, hallelujah, and something you said or maybe something you did bless me, made me turn my life to Jesus, I just want to thank you, count it a joy, amen to God. See what I'm saying? God uses these things. Let's not get mad when we go through things. <coughs> Count it a joy. Amen? Amen. The trial of our faith worketh patience. Amen? I'm almost done, praise God. I know some, some folks probably said hallelujah. Come on. I like this right here. It says Christians are like tea bags. You don't know what's in them until you put them in hot water. <laughs> Come on. Amen? Amen. When the pressure gets on, that's when you see, amen to God, when the rubber meets the road, if you amen. will, that's when you see what we're made of. Yeah. That's what the world's watching for. Come on. See, when, amen to God, they tell you that you're done or, or something bad happens, the sinner man's watching how you act. Yeah. The sinner man is seeing what will they do Come on. when everything's not going peachy, when life is not on the mountaintop, but they're now Come in the valley. <clears throat> Let's see how they react. Yeah. Do you still thank God? Or do you get mad and murmur and complain? Now, we all have done that. Come on. No, we're not perfect and we're, you know, praise God, we're still human beings. We make mistakes. Yeah. But there comes a point in your life to where, praise God, you grow enough in the Lord that, praise God, being human doesn't matter no more because it's all about Him, amen to God. Come see, on. we're supposed to die out to the ways of the flesh, amen to God, and let Him... Praise God, live through us. We are dead, amen to God, filled with His Spirit, amen to God. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost where His Spirit dwells, amen? Come on. Amen. Praise God. There comes a point where you've got to stop doing that same sin over and over. Amen. Praise God, because when you get born again, things change, amen? You become a new creature in Him, amen? Come on. Count it a joy when you go through things. Hallelujah, amen? Because it's the trying of your faith, His work is patience, hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Problems will help make you mature. Amen. Yeah. That make you more like Jesus. Amen. You just got to ask God to help you to count it a joy. Amen. Amen. If you value comfort more than character, trials is going to upset you. Amen. Amen. If you value material and physical things more than the spiritual, you won't be able to count it a joy. You'll be Lord. murmuring and complaining all the time. If you value only the present and forget about the future, forget about the promises God has put upon you, forget about where you're going to heaven and not hell, amen. Lord. The trials will make you bitter and not better. So thank God for these trials. Amen. That we can count it a joy. And let patience have her, like James 1 4 says, let patience have her perfect work. Come on. That she may be perfect and entire. Wanting nothing. Yeah. Because at the end of it, when you go through the fire, when they put gold through fire, and all that other stuff goes off, it's still pure gold. When you go through fire, you'll still be pure, amen to God. You'll still be the believer, amen to God, 
the child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. In His image. Amen. That He can brag on you about. Oh, glory to God. That gets Hallelujah. me right there. Just to know our Heavenly Father bragging over us. Amen to God. Come on. Devil, look what my kids are doing. What's your kids doing? They're fixing to be mine. Amen to God. When they get a hold of them. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Stand to your feet with me. Praise God. We're done. Hallelujah. I hope that word tonight was helped you. Amen to God. I, I know it gets tough sometimes when you go through things. I'm not saying it ain't easy. Because it's tough. Amen to God. When, when certain things happen. Amen. But we just got to go by faith and count it a joy. Praise God, because we're going to see great end results happen. Amen to God. We're going to see, praise God, God get the glory, because that's what it's about, Him getting the glory, not us. Amen. That we can bring glory to His precious name. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name, once again, we thank You again. <clears throat> thank You, Lord God, that just for all the things, amen to God, that that we go through, Lord, that they, they make us and mold us, Lord, like You. Help us, Lord, just to count it a joy. Help us to praise You, Lord. Help us to take our eyes off the situation and put our eyes on You, Jesus. Be with us tonight, Lord, as we depart. Guide us to our home safely, Lord. Let us lay down and have one of the most peaceful nights of sleep we've ever had in a long time. Let us wake up refreshed and renewed tomorrow by Your grace and mercy, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. And everybody said? Amen. And amen.